Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Matt with Green Bar Trading. So you guys are going to have to bear with me in this video. I am feeling really, really not good. Um, there's something going around in my house right now. You know, nothing crazy, but just feeling very under the weather. So we're going to try to make this video as fast as possible. And, you know, I think it's a good video because you can see the potential, right, from trading momentum. Now, this was a $710 trade pre-market. So at, let's see, when did I get in? I got in at 7.07 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and got out, started scaling out probably about six, seven minutes later. Um, you know, not a long trade at all. It went in my favor right away. It was a very nice looking setup. Now, that's all great. So I made, you know, $710. Why did I trade it? How did I find it? Um, I'm going to try to get into those little better details so that if you're learning and you like this momentum strategy, maybe this, um, you know, video will help you. So, you know, I have... I have a bunch of scanners and I'll just show you guys here. I always look at, well, my picture's probably in the way. Oh man. So I, I always look at my pre-market movers and then I'll click scan. Now, obviously this is gonna be, you know, not accurate right now because I'm doing this video at 2.49 in the afternoon. But what I do is I sort by mark percent change. If you ever want to change this, just come in here, click this little icon here, and you can customize what shows here. Now, from my pre-market scan, it's very simple. This is all it is, two, two criteria. And then I just sort to see the top gappers. It's that simple. Finding stocks to trade, I really don't think is that hard. I mean, at least I've never had trouble finding a stock to trade. Now, this is where it gets a little bit, I mean, experience is just goes a long way. Well, I just got to start by saying that this is not typical of, you know, you're not just going to come in and be able to take a thousand shares here and make $700 if you're new. It's just not likely going to happen. And I don't recommend you jumping in with that big of share size either, um, you know, if you are just learning or just starting out. But why did I get in right here? I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. 12 was a key level that I wanted to see break. And then we have here this light blue line, which was yesterday's high right here in the after hours this is why i really really liked this stock this stock was all about continuation it was a huge stock yesterday it went up almost 30 40 percent from in the morning 849 all the way up to hitting a high of 1255 very nice move you know, we see these moves all the time, but this was in a good sector. I liked what I was, you know, trading, the stock that I was trading. It had a lot of volume. And at 7 a.m., this is where I was dialed in. I'm, I'm at my computer at this point, and I'm just waiting and watching for stocks to pop up. Now, this was on my gap scanner. I was going through the stocks that I possibly liked. Uh, yesterday, I took a trade on um, Prague in the after hours, did very well on that one. That was continuation also today. That was one I had on my watch, but I chose this one because at 7 a.m., this one started ripping. So now I'm watching it go into this 
resistance level. Now, why is this a resistance level? If we go, excuse me, if we go and look at the daily chart, I have all my levels here on the daily chart of where there's po potential. And I'm just going to take this off because I, I look at the daily settings when I look at these stocks. So I knew that this was setting up pretty decent if we can break over 12 in the pre-market. We're already over the 200 moving average. This stock is pretty much brand new from the beginning of the year. So you have highs of 2490, and then we kind of just sold off the whole time, and now it's starting to curl back up. 12, you can see here this purple line. This is gap fill right here. We filled the gap here. And this is where I said, you know, even going back to right here, this is 12 on the button. Um, so if we broke 12 and I saw the bids coming in and a lot of buying, I was going to jump in. So let's go back to my one minute settings that I like to look at. And we'll look at this on the one minute and just try to just dial it in. Like I said, I'm going to do this quick. So we broke over 12. We're over VWAP. I like what I see. Once we're over 12, now I'm trading whole dollars now because this is a more expensive stock. These things can start to move. Once 12 holds, then it's 1250 is the next area that I'm thinking there's going to be resistance. And it just so happens that that's 1255 on the previous high. If that breaks, then my, then it's up to 1275, first profit off, and then it is up, you know, pushing through the whole dollar of 13. And that's what I'm looking for. Once these get moving and they're more expensive stocks like this, I'm looking at those whole dollar, half dollar, 75 cents, whole dollar, um, and then the next, um, you know, quarter right here, 1325. That's the way that these things can move once they get going, because it is a higher priced stock and the level of 12 broke. Once that 12 broke and it, and it held up, that was just game on at that point. Now, the only thing I got to say is if you're trading at 7 a.m., any, any time before I would say 8, 8.30, if you're trading at that time, these have a, sh they have, um, I was going to say a shelf life. They don't, they don't last long because for the simple fact that there's other stocks that get going, there's not that many traders yet awake at this time, 707 in the morning, that's 407 on the West coast. You know, there's just not as much volume. So knowing that and just having the experience i just knew that the move was going to take place very quickly that's why once i saw it getting going i jumped right in no hesitation at all and just rode the momentum taking profit off into this move and then as you can see you know it just sold off basically after that and now it's trading at 1055 so as a momentum trader I buy high and I sell higher. I'm just strictly riding the momentum. I'm not looking to buy it at the lowest possible price and swing trade it. That is um, definitely a way to trade and you could trade like that. It's just not my strategy. I like to just scout momentum when I see nice setups. This one to me had a nice break of 12 and 1255 was very obvious. 12.55 broke beautifully with these huge green candles just suggesting, and I already knew I'm not the only one watching that level. So this is the same thing kind of that happened uh, yesterday afternoon with Prague. You know, this just keep riding the momentum. The market is hot for momentum right now. So that's what we're going to do. Just keep taking advantage 
of these stocks making big moves. So sorry if I sound so stuffed up, but um, felt like I wanted to make this video, maybe help some people that like to scout momentum also. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Hit the thumbs up for the video. If you're new, subscribe. We have new videos like this just about every single day. And we have a Discord, link is in the description. It's a great group of traders, lots of great ideas in there. And you get my daily trade plan and stocks that I'm watching every morning. All right, so that's it guys. I'll see you back on the next one. Take care.